We made it here to Denmark. Tanner's already relaxing with the girls. We are at the coast and I have a view of Sweden. So we just came from Sweden. We took a ferry over here. It was quite a quick ferry, but it did have a restaurant. And so I have to wonder if people just ride it and enjoy the restaurant like back and forth and don't actually get off because it was not long enough to eat a full meal. So I feel like people must be doing that. Oh, I'm seeing naked man right now. <laughs> He's stripping a biker. Naked, naked. Going for a spin. <laughs> Welcome to Denmark, I guess. That's our initiation. <laughs> We're definitely excited to just try a lot of the food, explore the coast, yeah. explore Copenhagen, and hopefully find some cities where our ancestors are from. So it's the next morning. We're here in Copenhagen. We parked our car. It's free parking from like Saturday nights to Monday morning, and we fit into that gap. It's Sunday and it's nice, we parked close to a metro station. Right now I can see a ton of different biking parking spots and actually Copenhagen claims the title of being the most bike friendly city in the world. This is oddly empty. I was just saying that as we were coming down here, this is like a bougie metro station. Very clean, very nice. She's in such a sleepy gaze. I think this might be like the most calm, clean metro that I've ever been to. It just is like a whole nother level. We uh, walked outside of the metro and I had to do probably the thing that hurts me the most. I had to go to the money exchange and exchange Norwegian kroner to Danish kroner. And I got ripped off like five bucks and it's gonna bug me. No, I'm trying to let it go. I, I, I actually walked away from it and Rissa's like, you're not leaving, just go and get it and change it. <laughs> so now we have some Danish kroner in cash in case we need that, which maybe we would at this flea market, but I doubt it because uh, we're not really bringing past. stuff. We've already walked it past half of it. It's starting to clear up a little bit more and I think it's gonna turn into a really nice day. Watch the rising of the sun, the shadows start to run. One of the really popular things to do here is go on a canal boat tour. You can see them right happening here. They're actually fairly big boats and hold quite a bit of people. It's really fun being here, honestly, because my family is Danish from heritage like several generations ago. And it's fun to think that like a lot of them could have Im immigrated to the U.S from like a port here in Copenhagen. Obviously not this exact canal, but I'm sure that I had ancestors who were here in Copenhagen at one point or another. We've now finished our hot dog. I can say that it was quite nice. Now we're ready to head on to our next food adventure because you know us, we are foodies for sure, to get some delicious baked goods. This one has very high ratings. Um, I think it also serves ice cream if I'm not mistaken, which is another thing that's gonna be on the menu today because Danish ice cream is a whole new level of ice cream with toppings and stuff. come at 3 o'clock in the afternoon to an amusement park, but we're happy. She has been really excited to be here, and there's a lot of fun things to do.
amazing. The jam is nice. Way too big though. Tanner's like wiping his eyes. Uh, yeah, We're man. a little tired. I'm feeling it today. <laughs> it was good. Like, um, it is what, six? We were here for just over three hours. Uh, yeah, three and a half hours that we were here. And we spent a lot, let's be honest. Oh, Everything yeah. here is very expensive. <laughs> like, honestly, coming from Norway and Sweden, I thought we just kind of start at the most expensive and then Denmark would be like cheaper than those other two. But I feel like that's not the case. Maybe it's just been our experience and it's kind of been unique with what we've done. And we went to Tivoli Garden, so it's like, not the cheapest place, I'm sure. Oh, well, and we got sandwiches at 7-Eleven because I was like, whatever, just get something quick, I'm hungry. And it was still what? Like almost $11. Like $11 for like a two croissant, little, a croissant, oh, croissant and a little, and a little tomato, sandwich. Um, yeah. Kind of expensive, that's our perspective, but I am really impressed by this place, so it's really fun. And this one's just so cool that it's just so central. A really fun, family-friendly thing to do. There's still people coming in. Oh, I know. I saw a couple of people and I was like, this is the time to come in at like 6.30. It's open till like 11 on like Sunday through Thursday and then like midnight on Friday and Saturday. So honestly, yeah, 6.30, 7, crowds are definitely down a lot. It feels great. I'm beyond ready for bed though. Not bed, but to get ready for that. So Scandinavia in general is known for its architecture, but here in Copenhagen, it definitely is. And it's really cool to see some of these buildings. We are ending our day, leaving Copenhagen to find a little place to stop and there's this hill that's just close to where we parked our van. Oh, thanks, Willa. So we're gonna have a late dinner snack and just enjoy the sunshine and the sunset. I heard something in the background and <laughs> We're being hunted. They smell our Cheez-Its. They're like coming closer, like getting a little nervous. Do you think they want our crackers? Probably not. They're just coming up here to see what we're doing. They're friendly. <laughs> Don't let it bite your hair. No! <laughs> Go away, she! Oh my goodness! <laughs> they definitely came over to say hi, huh? Well, this morning we left our place that we stayed at just outside of Copenhagen and we're driving to Zoru and it is a place that I have on record where some of my family was either born or married and we've just been driving into like the outer city limits of the, the small village and we passed this nursery and I was looking out there and I was like, oh, that's really pretty. Like they've got like green gardens, like flowers and like plants and I think vegetables and stuff. And then we passed this sign here and it says Gunnar Christensen's. Now, of course, it has an S at the very end, um, which is different I think but it also I'm not entirely sure it could be that there's like that makes me consider plural because it's like planta school so it's like I don't know if that means like nursery or plant school technically but uh, fun and exciting to see like a sign out here with like the last name where so many years ago there was family that had the same last name coming from over here as well. What are you finding out babe? I'm finding out that maybe we came to the wrong island here in Denmark but I do think that this is still close to where a lot of my relatives are from. I'm noticing that there are a lot of similarities between here and in Germany with like half-timbered homes and just like the architecture, but then also like the mix of like northern Germany. Uh, so it's really fun. So we're going to explore here down in Zoru and uh, look at the church, look at the downtown area and just kind of get a little, a little feel. I know I'm in Denmark, but it is so interesting because we're walking in at this church and there's actually a cemetery right on the grounds. And I see Peterson, Larson, Hansen. I have like my great aunt and uncle, their last name's Hansen. We've got family and friends with the last name of Larson, like Peterson. They were in our church community growing up. Like I literally feel like I could be walking in a cemetery 
in, in Utah. Utah. Yeah. <laughs> like this is weird. Well, this morning we left our campsite in Kurosur. It had an amazing view over the bridge. Nice sandy beach area right there. We took the toll bridge all the way across here to the other island, Odense, and we're excited to be able to explore today. But yesterday was really fun because we were walking around, we were getting food from a little food truck by the campsite, and a guy came up to us and started to, to ask about Noah because she was in my arms. And we just started up a conversation and he asked, oh, are you guys here sailing? And we're like, oh no, like we're just camping. Uh, we got a little conversation, he walked us down the, the pier, down to his boat, down to some other boats, and, and he proceeded to tell us a little bit about Denmark, a little bit about sailing, and it was uh, pretty fun. I did mention to him that we were trying to find some towns where my ancestors are from, and he said, well, I recommend you could just go to a grocery store and probably ask around, and people would probably know somebody. He's like, typically people who stay in these smaller towns, they live there, and they stay there, and they don't move. So we'll see how it today brings. Yesterday was a lot of fun and we really enjoyed it. Had an incredible sunset view, a fun place for us to stay, and we're rested and rejuvenated and ready for another day today. Ta-da! Is Jenny making friends? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so we've made it over here to the island of Finn and continuing our search for where my ancestors came from and we're in the little small town. Uh, it, I guess it's a little bit bigger than a lot of the other places but we're here in Otterup. It's quietly new renovated honestly. The place that we're here in the center has a lot of new like new pavers down, new, uh, a new playground as well. So we just made it here to the church in Atolup, is how I was told it's pronounced Atolup. It's really beautiful and on the side of the outside here it says 1650 and then the other side says 1914. So uh, honestly I haven't looked up a lot into the church itself but the grounds are maintained beautifully and I ventured out through the garden and like the tombstones and asked some of the workers, I was like, hey, do you know where like the oldest tombstones are? Because some of the dates that I'm looking for are from like the 1700s, early 1800s. Even if it was like relatives of the family, right? Um, because I I didn't quite dive in to look and see if they were buried here or if they had emigrated to the U.S. or if they were just parents. Anyway, long story short, I was able to find some older tombstones but not quite to the age that I was looking for. But the nice lady did give me a number of one of the people who's over kind of like the historical records. Uh, and said that I could give him a call. So we'll see what happens. I probably won't do that on this trip just because we're we're leaving like now <laughs> to head out and uh, head our way back to Germany. Still a really cool feeling to be able to be so close to see the area that it was like. And just like that we have made our loop back into Germany now. We left Scandinavia and it's bittersweet again because we've had a great time but it does feel good to be back here in Germany and ironically we've made it back to the same spot where we started the last night we had in Germany in our camper van before we made it up into Denmark. We we're actually staying at that same place because it was conveniently located along the same way and we enjoyed our experience here. So we're here, 
very early compared to the last time, which was like 11 o'clock at night. We're here just after 7. Excited to get some rest and enjoy some beautiful weather here in northern Germany. So thanks again for being here, everyone. If you haven't already, go ahead and like this video, follow us, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next one.